that's a new trick. Not the coolest I've ever seen, but it's definitely something. Are you alone out here? Just leave me alone, lady. I'll take that as a yes. Look, it's not safe for people like you to be in this town alone. Please, just leave me alone. I know a group who can help you. Just leave me alone. Going somewhere, freak? You ain't going nowhere. Can you take them, Jack? Can I? Just watch the hero work. Now why'd you have to go do a thing like that? Think you're funny, pretty boy? You think I'm pretty? Sloppy, as usual. Thanks for the wise words of encouragement, bud. Don't know what I'd do without you. Neither do I. Who the hell are you people? The name's Omega Man, planetary savior to the end of time. And I just saved your sorry ass. Jack, we talked about this. Right, sorry. My name's Jack. Our friend Meg informed us that you're one of us. What do you mean, one of you? It means you're different from regular people. You're special, like me. But you know, not as special, because that's impossible. What my friend Jack here is trying to say is that we know what you can do, and we want to help you. Just tell us your name. You don't have to be alone anymore. Get the hell away from me. You're new in town, aren't you? Our friend Meg. She saw you get off the train. Where are you from? Philadelphia. Let me guess. Ran away from home? Look. You might think you had it hard in Philadelphia. But if you came here looking for a fresh start, you're in for a surprise. Starcliff might not look like much, but people like you and I, we're not welcome here. Which is why we stick together. You can try and make it on your own, but I guarantee it'll be a hell of a lot easier with my help. What's your name, kid? My name's Mark. Just Mark. Are you a dancer? Only with the devil in the pale moonlight. Come on in. Huh. Ah! Name? Um, it's Mark. Huh. Abilities? Control of electricity. All right, now to what extent can he use his abilities? I'm not sure. I saw him use it to take money from a subway ticket machine, but that's it. Looks like we'll have to do some field testing. What the hell do you mean field testing? It means we're about to find out to the extent you can use your powers and what use you'll be to us. Use to you. Where's Sarah? Welcome. That's a nice gift you've got there, Sarah. What? 
The ability to enhance a person's gravity with just a flick of a wrist. Was that guy? No, he just got cold feet. It's June. Your point? That's the lamest excuse for a cover-up I've ever heard. And I've heard a lot of cover-ups. What do you want from me? My name's Susie. And what I want is an alliance. Are you a dancer? Open the goddamn door, Zach. Sarah, where have you been? The convenience store. I got some news you're gonna wanna hear. Well, we're all here. Let's hear it. I ran into a girl. She told me her name was Susie. And get this, she says she's the leader of a new uh, superhero group in town. And she wants to team up with us. Hold on. How does she know who we are? I don't know. Anyone? Does anyone smell that? Oh, yeah, it smells like a trap. I agree. Hold up, everyone. Maybe they could help us. Susie could have heard of us from the other heroes in town. You mean the ones who refuse to join us? I mean, it's certainly a possibility. <laughs> hey, who the hell is this? Hi. He's some random kid we saved from a beating on the street. Well, I could have taken him. Oh yeah, sure you could have. Oh, you know, geez. you're cute. But... Ow! Guess I know what his power is now. Sarah, did you learn anything else? <laughs> yeah, she told me that if we were interested in forming this alliance, that we should meet her at three in the center of town. Well, what are we waiting for? It's only one way to find out what they really want. Now explain yourself. The name is Susie. Susie Red. And now that I have all of you in one place, we can begin. Begin what? Look, I'll cut to the chase. My boss wants you gone. He instructed us to kill you, but I don't think we have to resort to that, right? You know, I'd hate to say I told you so, but... If you just leave this town forever, we'll give you 50 grand. As long as you never come back. No one has to know you're still alive. Do you honestly think we'll leave Starcliffe for money? That was the idea. Well, you can take your money and shove it up your ass. We ain't leaving. You should have taken the money. Wait, we can settle this. The Neanderthal over there looks like he's a gambling man, especially when it comes to matters of strength. I'll fight him one-on-one. -on -one. If he wins, you take the money and you don't have to leave. If I win, forever without the money. And what if we don't like either option? Then you'll die. Simple as that. I told you so. Jack, remember what I've taught you. Leon, I got this. Overconfident as always, Jack. Of course. Ready? Always. Kiddo, you can't have you spoiling the fun. Leave Starcliff or die. This is your only warning. Every time! 
She beats me every time! Wait! How do you know her? She's my goddamn sister! Is the job done? They've been dealt with, sir. She's lying, sir. She told him to leave and never come back. I also said that no one had to tell him, Alex! He would have found out anyways. Enough! I know now. Susie, do you know why I asked you to eliminate them? Honestly, I'm not sure. There's this idea in Hinduism. Everything is Brahman. Everything is an illusion. When you tear away everything, you get to the root of all things. Even life is an illusion. But what happens when that illusion becomes dangerous to us all? That's where you come in. You need to put an end to the illusions to keep the world safe. The only way to kill a freak is with a freak. So you go back out there and put an end to their illusions. And do the same to any other freaks you can find. Oh wait, one more thing. Take my personal guard with you. I'm not taking any more chances. If you screw up, he'll take care of everything. That includes the three of you. I think the real question is, how did Jack's sister get $50,000? She didn't mention a boss. What happened? I'll fill you in later. Well, who could she be working for? That's easy. Jedediah O'Ryan. Uh, this keeps getting better and better. Jedda who? Oh, that's right. You're new here. Yeah, that's that's right. I am new here. So could someone fill me in? Guys, just because he's new doesn't mean anything. He has powers just like us. He should know about the Orions. Jedediah O'Ryan, son of Malcolm O'Ryan. Owner of the multi-billion dollar company, Orion Genetics. Well, I know the company. I just... I just don't understand what that has to do with my powers. I've had them for as long as I can remember. Are you saying what I think you're saying? He's different. He's not like us. Wait, are you guys saying that none of you were born with your powers? Mine have only gotten stronger as I've aged. Look, it doesn't matter how you got your powers. You're with us. And since you're with us, that means you need to be trained. I expect all of you to pitch in somehow. Leon, where are you going? I need to be sure of something. Just, just give me a minute, damn it. Hesitation will be your end. Pull yourself together. Leaving so soon? What? Not happy to see me? I've been searching for you all these years. When I finally found you, you've got nothing to say? Answer me! What the hell's wrong with you? I've been searching for you all this time, and this is how you reward me? I can't lose you again, Charlie! Why can't I drain you? What? Finally find a situation where you can't hide behind your powers? <laughs> Thank you.
don't get up. Jack, Mark, get in here! What is it, Meg? Leon's back. <laughs> hey, don't do that! What are you, crazy? He's a freak. He doesn't deserve to live in this town among us normals. What are you talking about? He's more human than you'll ever be. Look, lady, whenever I walk past one of them, I sneeze. They're clearly trying to kill us or something, and they're trying to do it slowly for that matter. It's allergy season? The only thing I'm allergic to is freaks. Now get out of my way. Sorry about that. People in this town can be real jerks sometimes. You get used to it after a while. It's really cool of you sticking up for me, though. Thanks. It was nothing. It's absurd that it's the norm in this town to torment people like you. That's because people are afraid of what they don't understand. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. That was my intention. I'm Jack, by the way. And the mysterious one's Leon. I'm Meg. Pleasure to meet you, Meg. You too. So, are you guys a kind of duo or something? Well, we used to be a Jack. tree- you know, it would be pretty great if we could change this town's opinions. All we need is an example. What do you mean? I could help you assemble a team of people with powers dedicated to helping the community. Do enough and they'll have to warm up to you. Why do you want to help us so bad? Why do you want to help people so bad? She's got a point. So, what do you say? Hello everyone, I am your host, MC Charisma, and welcome back to another episode of This Week in Starcliff. So in this week's news, stocks are up, disease is down, and we got a whole bunch of super freaks dead. Reports have been coming in all week of a bunch of dead bodies belonging to costume freaks all over town. There are many theories and speculations going around, but the most believable one appears to be that the so-called heroes are actually turning against each other. Now, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, I can't see how we normal people can live alongside these super-powered individuals if they can't even learn to get along with each other. The authorities are calling for these freaks to have them turn themselves in or they will be shot if they're seen using their powers. Oh, and this also applies to anyone who's seen wearing a costume resembling a vigilante outfit. Kinda like Batman. Well, this is just fantastic. I know, MC Charisma's really up on the quality of these vlogs lately. No, not the show, Jack! Uh, although it is well done. What I'm talking about are the repercussions of these murders. Mark's right. This is just gonna lead to more death. Well? Are we just gonna sit here and do nothing? What are we supposed to do? You wanna get shot? Who cares? What? Who cares? How many times did the cops try and stop Batman? And how many of those times did Batman still save the day? We're a part of this team because we want to be heroes and help people. We have the ability to be superheroes. So let's be fucking superheroes. What are you, crazy? Maybe. Maybe you kind of have to be to be a hero, but maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm just fed up with all of the discrimination I've faced in my life. I'm tired of being oppressed because of the way I was born. I'm tired of being nervous all the time, and I'm tired of being useless. I have superpowers, and I want to use them. Ugh. I think my beating got to him. Might knock a few brain cells out. Jack, you're always the one who acts like you're in a comic book. Shocks me that you don't agree with him. I know when to quit. I've had my fun. Jack, shut up. Mark's right. Let's be superheroes. I'm tired of being afraid. We can make this town a better place, and I know how we're gonna do it. Malcolm O'Ryan started this, and we're gonna finish it. How do you suggest we do that, Leon? By kidnapping his son. Well, I'd like a full report. Haven't you seen it on the news? I don't care what the news says. They have no idea what's going on. Only the three of you can tell me what really happened. Sir. Brad handled any costume freaks he could find to the west side of town. I handled the north. Alex here did the south. And your friend here did the west. Friend isn't how I put it. Sir, what is your relationship then? Master and slave. Simple as that. You see, my father gave me him to deal with anything I don't want to bother myself with. 
His mind is wired to do exactly what I tell him to. Sir, if I may... Yes? You? What is it? I didn't actually murder anyone in the south part of town. Of course you didn't. You can only murder people. This was more like sanitation. The garbage men really should be paying us. No, it's murder. Murder I didn't commit. I don't want to be a part of this any longer. I just want to go home. You don't have a home anymore, remember? You two, out. Let me have a word with this one. Brad, I don't think we can keep doing this. I want to like you, kid. I really do. You seem like a nice kid. Shy and quiet, but nice and smart. You're that kid, and that's okay. The world needs that kid. What's your name, by the way? What do you mean, we? I'm having a blast. Alex, you add something to the world, and I would hate to take away that contribution. I'm the only thing keeping you alive right now, and all I ask in return is for you to do as you're told. How can you stand there and say that to me? Alex is right. We've committed murder. <laughs> Freaks aren't people. Therefore, you can't murder them. Slave, report! I ran into a freak with the same abilities as me, Master. What? The leader of the group that Ms. Red fought with. Hasn't it gotten through your thick skull yet that we're the freaks? Once we kill all the freaks in Starcliff, what happens then, Brad? Jedediah called that man his slave. I'm starting to question whether we're his slaves, too. It doesn't matter to me. So, they're still in Starcliff. I'd be lying if I said I was surprised. What is wrong with you? I'm a freak. I was a mistake. Just like all freaks. I was never meant to be alive. Including you. We were born to die. You. Here is a chance to redeem yourself. Find out where they're operating from, and call the others as soon as you find out. We're going to get rid of these pests once and for all. I got it. Are you a dancer? What? I said, are you a dancer? Uh, no. Who are you and what do you want? Just let me in. I have to talk to your boss. You! So, you want to talk to Leon, huh? We don't get to until we say so. You got it? Look. I have very important info that- Tell it to the judge! What judge? You know damn well what judge! What judge? It's an expression. Did you make it up? No, at least... I don't think so. I, I don't- I never heard anyone say Alright, alright, uh, never mind. We need to figure out what he knows without disturbing Leon's planning process. Right, he can't know we're trying to kidnap Jedediah. You're planning on kidnapping Jedediah? <laughs> what? No one no. said that! <laughs> you just did. I heard everything. Even the part about the, uh... The judge? Yeah. Well, all right. Now that you know, we can't let you leave. I, I want to help you. Why would you want to help us? Because... It's the right thing to do. Wow. I think he's lying. Obviously. I'm scared, okay? Scared of what? I'm scared of Jedediah. Why? You don't understand the power he has. What power? Super whining? Daddy, you bought me the wrong color Lamborghini. Dude! <laughs> he doesn't have powers, but he has something much more dangerous. Wait, Jedediah doesn't have powers? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. His dad gave us our powers. Why wouldn't he give his own son any? I don't have any idea what you're talking about, but we do not have the time. If you're planning on taking down Jedediah, then you need to know what he has in store for you. Uh, there's a man who works for him who has the ability to take other people's powers and use them for his own purposes. That's how Leon was injured. I saw it, and I brought him back here to you guys. 
What if he's telling the truth? What if he's not? I, I don't think we can take that chance. You're right. You can't. Especially since I guaranteed Jedediah had someone fell with me here. Alright, here's what we do. I'm gonna go check my unwanted guests that may have followed Alex here. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go tell Leon what we just learned. What about him? He'll come with me. How are you so strong? Take a wild guess. Hey, boss, we need to talk. Don't call me that. What? Don't call me boss. Um, okay, um, Leon, uh, I, I have news. Tell me. So it's as I thought. What is it, Leon? Charlie's under Orion's complete control. Who's Charlie? My best friend. And our leader. Uh, okay. Charlie was saving Jack and I from a group of thugs Orion sent after us. Charlie got captured. Jack and I escaped. Well, now you know where he is, so let's go get him! Okay, Mark. It's hero time. Alright, you guys! Wh what's going on? Jack's gone. So is the prisoner. What? Damn it! We need to find him. And soon. Well, if that's how you feel, Zack, then go find him. What? I'm going after Jedediah. We can't wait any longer. I think we can wait a day, Leon. No! We can't! If we don't stop Jedediah now, we'll be dead by tomorrow! Leon! Jack is our friend! I have another friend to save! What the hell does that mean? Leon, stop! If you walk out that door right now, I promise I won't be here when you get back. Same goes for me. And me. So be it. Let's go save Jack. Right. But first you should see that. What do you mean, Meg? I've been working on costumes for all of you! What do you mean by costumes? find where they're operating from. Yeah, they're... Wait, what's my name? Why does it matter? What's my name? Henchman number three. You really don't want to do that. Jedediah! Oh, for the love of... What is it? Where's Charlie? Who? My best friend that you enslaved! Oh! So you know the slave. How interesting. Well, sadly to say, he's waiting for me at the train station. We're going to visit my father. So if you'll just let me... You're not going anywhere! Yeah! Oh, I see. Where's my car? A minute. Why should we do that? Because I want to save Jack. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks, Mrs. Red. We don't work with people we can't trust. Well, you better get used to trusting me because I'm the only one who knows where Jack is, 
and I'm the only one who can save him. Brad took Jack to a nearby warehouse. I know where it is, but we have to move fast. All right, but if we find out you're lying... Fine. We're a team. For now. Jack Red. It's funny, isn't it? How you find yourself tied to a chair, beaten, alone, no friends in sight. Do you know why that is, Jack? It's because of, not of an ideal that you and your friends push forward. This idea that us abnormals can live in harmony with normal people. thousands of years. And then a few decades ago, we came along. Mother Nature made a little slip up. No man was meant to possess the strength of a god. That's why I'm here, Jack. I'm here to correct that mistake. For months now, I've traveled around Starcliffe, and I've hunted down other gifted individuals. And I killed them, quickly, most of the time. Snap of the neck, caved in skull, elementary. You see, Jack, I'm gonna kill you slowly. Really slowly. And I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. Because Jack Red, now there is no power in Starcliffe that can save you. Not so fast, Brad! Sister, come to save brother. How quaint. Actually, Brad, I just came to knock the sociopath right out of you. Saving my brother is just a bonus. You're outmatched here, thanks to my followers. Freaks so scared of dying that they've pledged allegiance to me. You see, fear can be a powerful weapon when the right people succumb to it. That's... that's pathetic. You know, I know a lot of people like you, bullies who think they can boss everyone around just because they're stronger. You think you're the center of the goddamn universe. Well, guess what? We're better than you. You see, your guys back there, they're prisoners of fear. We're a team. And we're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> this, this is, is gonna, gonna be fun. fun. Some of you still in there. Come back to us. Help! <laughs> You're not Charlie. You're just a soulless monster.
You know, of all people that could have come and saved me, why the hell is it you? You know I started to help Jedediah to support the both of us, but I realized I kind of lost sight of that. You know, I could have saved myself. Overconfident as always, Jack. As always. It's good to know you can die with some closure, you goddamn freaks. Let's get out of here. Brad! Brad! I'm in the industrial district. I need you to come right now. 32 Fawcett Street. Brad brought me here in Jedediah's car. Let's go give it back to him. Where are you going? Home! That's it? All of this and you're going home? If I see you again, I'll kill you! <laughs> Jedediah! You know... All I wanted to do was make this a better place. But you want to keep it the same. With all your powers, you want everyone scared of you so you can control them. But now they see you for what you really are. Killers. You're all killers. You're the killer? I just wanted to help people! And how's that going for you, huh? What are you trying to do? Kill me? That's what you came here to do, right? Why don't you push your luck and find out? You're funny, you know that? What are you trying to accomplish? You got me stuck here and... You think you're scary? You have no idea what my father can do. I know what your father is capable of. So, revenge. That's it, isn't it? You're gonna kill me and get some satisfaction? Do you have any idea what's gonna happen after that? <laughs> of course not. You're just a failed lab experiment. You don't deserve to exist. You don't deserve your powers. They belong to me. Stop talking. Make me. Dude, you crashed the lightning mobile. Okay, first of all, we were never calling it the lightning mobile. But second of all, it's should have died. Who cares? Oh shit, the address! Oh! Leon! What are you doing? What's it look like? Uh, Leon! Get off me! Uh, uh, uh. I have to do this! You, you know don't this? have to do this, Leon! This family's taking everything from me! Listen, Leon, I understand. You know I do. But this will only lead to more bloodshed. If we kill him now, it'll only make people hate us more than they already do. You're our leader, Leon. Show us the right thing to do. I'm not your leader. Don't you walk away from me! Get back here! You freaks! You think you're better? You think you're gonna save this city? This is my city! My father will destroy you! We haven't seen Leon since that day. We can't make him come back to us, so we'll just have to wait and hope he's safe. Jedediah never bothered us again, and because of that, more people started asking to join our team. Are you a dancer? No, but I am a pretty gray host. Is that? Holy crap, you're MC Charisma. At your service. I heard you guys were looking for people with special abilities. 
And it just so happens that I myself have the power of invisibility. Come on in. I don't know what the future of Starcliff holds, but what I do know is... I don't have to run anymore. Summer song.